Yes, this is Sports on South Africa tonight. Welcome Sports Universe. Banyana Banyana are in line for a big payday. All they have to do is win this year's African Women's Cup of Nations. Safa have guaranteed the players 9.2 million rand should they bring the trophy home. If it happens, it'll be the biggest bonus awarded to a national team, men or women. But a few things must come together well for that to happen uh, for a team that has struggled to get over the finish line on multiple occasions. ENCA Sports reporter Tlonim Tsimkulu has more. Banyana Banyana's quest for a first women's AFCON title has been boosted by confirmation of their incentive package. Victory at Rabat's Prince Mulai Abdella Stadium on the 23rd of July will see each player walk away with 400,000 rand. As runners up, they will pocket 55,000 rand each. At the least, there is a 30,000 rand guarantee for reaching the semi-finals and qualifying for next year's World Cup. You've always said that when we go to the tournament, you want us to focus merely on just playing. We should um, sort out all the issues that we have before the tournament begins. And I think bonuses was one of the issues that we had. And for you to come and honor us and give this promise, it's a kind of a motivation to the team. South Africa are five-time runners-up on the continent, including at the last edition in 2018. Eleven of this year's women's AFCON squad were part of the 2018 edition that also served as a World Cup qualifying campaign. So this group of players has the experience to know what has not worked over the years and what could finally get them over the finish line. This time around it's a little bit different. We have a couple of players playing abroad as well, gaining that experience, bringing it back. We have a great mixture of young players coming in to give us that little bit of um, energy going into, into certain games. But all it will take is our, our mentality and knowing that what we are capable of and going to express ourselves. The 9.2 million rand guaranteed for being crowned African champions is part of an overall 10 million rand spent towards this year's tournament. Flonim Timkulu, Johannesburg.